हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक थ्योरी एंड इन पर्टिकुलर मैक्सवेल्स इक्वेशंस एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट दे हैव गिवन इज इन अ नॉन मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल सो नॉन मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल मींस वी विल टेक म्यू नॉट विद नो फ्री चार्जेस दैट मींस फ्री चार्ज इज जीरो so rho f will be equal to zero and no free current so free current will also be equal to zero the permittivity is epsilon and it is function of position so we will not take it as constant especially when del operator is there so it is a function of position and e is electric field mu not epsilon not you know permeability and permittivity which of the following expressions is correct so if you see the expression kind of they are trying to write uh, del square comes when we uh, club uh, two maxwell's equation let us see how we can do it okay so <clears throat> if i write maxwell's equations so free charge is zero so that's why i will write del dot d is equal to rho f so del dot epsilon e is equal to 0 okay and then del square is there so i will write the faraday's law del cross e is equal to minus del b by del t and then uh, the usual way is to take curl on the both sides so it is del cross del cross e is equal to minus del by del t and del cross b now this will become del del dot e minus del square e is equal to this side i have to again use del cross b is equal to mu not j plus jf and uh, free one is zero so i will reuse del cross b is equal to mu not epsilon not mu not epsilon because epsilon is the permittivity del e by del t okay del cross b is equal to mu not epsilon del e by del t so it will become minus del by del t of mu not epsilon del e by del t correct now we will get del of del dot e minus del square e is equal to mu not and uh, minus del 2 e epsilon e by del t 2 okay this term i am going to get so del cross e was minus del b by del t then taking curl on the both side so you got uh, here i have applied back cap you know na del cross del cross e and this side curl i am writing from ampere's law but free current is zero so displacement current i have taken and uh, this epsilon i have put inside uh, just with electric field so this is what we get and now what will happen this will become del square e take it this side this will be minus mu not del 2 uh epsilon e by del t2 so i am going this side and this is equal to grad of del dot e 
okay now just see this one the gauss law so it is grad of it is divergence of a constant i mean uh, scalar and a vector it is something like this this is very interesting formula so divergence of a scalar into vector is equal to so the first one is divergence of a scalar of a vector is a scalar times divergence of this vector so ultimately this quantity has to be scalar because this is like a vector multiplied by a scalar and you take divergence so finally dot product will be a scalar quantity you see this is scalar and plus it will be vector dot uh, gradient of f so this again will be a scalar okay now just apply it to that it will become divergence of epsilon e is equal to epsilon divergence of electric field plus electric field dot grad of epsilon now because epsilon is a spatial dependence quantity so that's why grad of epsilon will not be zero but this overall is zero because of the free charge density being zero so now just see this uh, grad of del dot e so can we get del dot e from here so epsilon del dot e is equal to minus e dot grad of epsilon and you take epsilon this side it will become 1 by epsilon into this and uh, now i can write it this will become uh, grad of minus sign 1 by epsilon e dot grad of epsilon okay and uh, this i have just replaced uh, divergence of e i have replaced okay and now just take it on one side it will become del square e minus mu naught del 2 epsilon e by del t2 and just take it this side left side plus grad of 1 by epsilon e dot grad epsilon this is equal to 0 okay so just check check on on in the options so del square e minus mu naught del 2 by del t2 in is in every option no problem and uh, grad of 1 by epsilon uh, because it goes to left side it becomes positive you can see here this becomes positive so this option with positive sign is correct okay this is the correct answer okay thank you so much so just just you should work with maxwell's equations different kind of derivations like when i teach this topic uh, many derivations which I know will not be required sometimes but we go through them so that you have little understanding of vector calculus and whenever it is required you can apply it okay thank you